this is Techie Doodle Doo and today I'm going to show you how to connect your IKEA Trafri with Google Home so that you will be able to use the Google Home system to control everything in your fabulous smart home. So everything you need to do this is your phone and I assume that you've already installed your IKEA Trafri app and you also have to install the Google Home app. If you have not set up the IKEA Trafri system yet, then look in the description. I will leave a link to a tutorial video on how to do that. So let's dive into the phone. So first we will start by opening our Google Home app like that. And as you can see, we already have a couple of devices here, but that is because they are connected through the local internet. So they are automatically detected. So now let's press the plus sign in the top left corner right here and set up device. And we'll click works with Google because IKEA works with Google. And here you have a lot of brands. So to make it easier to find what we need, we just search for IKEA and choose IKEA Home Smart. There we go. So here we can enter a passcode, which we are able to find through our IKEA app. So let's just open the IKEA Smart app. And here you can see I've already got some groups and they're all in Norwegian, so <laughs> if you know Norwegian, then you can see which rooms we have IKEA bulbs in. <laughs> so let us press the cog that is in the top right corner. Here we can choose integrations and Google Assistant. And then we'll have to sign in with our Google account. So let's just do that. There we go. And we got the code. So 208612. There we go. Let's submit the code. And the IKEA Home Smart is linked. So now you have a choice. You can either just press the X in the top left corner, but if you do that, then all your smart devices will just be scattered around in the Google Home menu. So no grouping whatsoever because the groups are not sadly not synced to the Google Home app. So it is a tedious process, but I recommend you select each bulb and click next and go through the process of adding them to rooms so that you have some sort of a system in your Google Home app. So let's just do one here. We'll go to wardrobe. Oh, by the way, as you can see, we have a hue light, hue trap. Uh, <laughs> trap means stairs in Norwegian. Just the Norwegian word of the day. So if you want to know how to connect your hue bulb to the IKEA Trafri system, which you can do, you will find a tutorial in the description below. But let us just choose the first one, wardrobe. Garderobe means wardrobe. And then we'll have find our home here, which for some reason our home is called speaker. I have no idea why or who selected that name for our home. <laughs> anyway, we can choose wardrobe. Next. And then that bulb is gone from the menu. So you have to go through each and every one of the bulbs. You are not able to select multiple. Sadly, I wish we were able to do that. But let's just go ahead and do that one at a time. So 
So there we go. Now we have a nice and organized system with all our rooms and all the bulbs in our rooms. And from here we will be able to turn the bulbs off and on. Here you can see that we can turn the whole group off and on. Just a little bit slower. There we go. And we can also control the individual lights just like that. We can also choose the colors. So the bulbs that I've selected at the moment only have the choice of cold white to warm white and just a few different choices as you can see. But if we select our hue bulb, which I know can have several colors. Let's see, I'll just click on them and then here we go. Here you can see that we can select different colors for our hue light. Something that I do miss that we are able to do in the IKEA application, however, is to select colors from the color wheel because here you just have some predefined colors. While if I can show you, let's go ahead to, find, to the IKEA app. So we'll find our hue again. And if we click the color here, you can see, yes, we have some predefined colors, but we can also click on this color wheel and we can select whichever color we want. So unfortunately, the Google Home app does not have this feature. So you will have to use the IKEA app if you want to select whatever color that you want. But we do have a nice selection here, so we'll probably be okay with that as well. So there we go. That is it. Now you can control all your bulbs from your IKEA Home Smart app. Thank you so much for watching. Leave the video a like if you liked it. And also please subscribe to become a member of our techie family. Have a good one.